Okay. Hey guys, today you're going to need, um, I, I put in the email, you need a block and a strap. So if you don't have a block, like I've got a can of coffee, it works, or a thick, um, sturdy book would work too. A box of Kleenex, as long as it's pretty full, might be able to help you. And then for a strap, which is just to help with stretching, I've just got my belt from my bathrobe, but you could use um, a regular belt or if you've got an extra tube in your house, anything like that. Okay, so let's get started. Go ahead and- No, but on. I'm not on there. Does it matter? Share oh. screen. Does it matter? Start in a comfortable seated position, whatever works best for you. Okay, what did I do? There, at work, okay. So sitting up nice and tall, rotate your shoulders back and around, crown of your head's reaching for the ceiling, lift and lengthen the back of your neck, and breathe here. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. So make sure that you're not leaning forward here. Stack your shoulders on top of your hips and breathe. Left ear to left shoulder, right hand presses to the floor. Rotate that shoulder open through. And come back to center. Good turn. Look to the right. Pull those abs in. Rachel, turn look to the left.
Exhale, come out and around. Tuck your chin in. Look at the floor. Lengthen the back of your neck. Turn your palms up. Inhale, lift up. Heart rises. Exhale, hands to heart center. Pull that belly. Inhale, come back up. Lift that heart up. Exhale, come out and around. Tuck that chin in. Look down. One last time. Inhale, lift up. Inhale. Take that left hand on the floor, right arm reaches up and over. So your shoulders are hot. Breathing in between those ribs and switch sides up and over. Beautiful. Do that again. Breathe. Keeping both sits bones on the floor so you don't want to lift that hip up. Now this one we're going to hold. I'm just going to rotate open that side of the ribcage and that shoulder. Left forearm bends towards the floor. You don't want your elbow going back. Drop that shoulder. Now breathe in between those ribs. Shift that gaze up to the ceiling. Shift that gaze towards that hand on the floor. Inhale, set up taller. Exhale, twist towards that wall. Hand comes on the outside of that left knee. Pull your abs in to find space to twist. So maybe you're looking at that wall. Maybe you can turn your head look behind you. And come back to center shift. Right hand on the floor, shoulders down. Reach up and over. Breathing in between those ribs. Gaze goes under that arm towards the ceiling. And then down towards that hand on the floor. Inhale, lift up, sit up tall. Exhale, twist towards that wall. Hand on that outside that right knee. Pull those abs in to find space to twist. So you're looking at that wall. Maybe you're looking behind you. And then slowly cut back to center. All right, hands and knees on the floor in that tabletop position. Remember, you want your fingers spread out wide. You don't want those hands in close. Spread them out and press this padding between your pointer finger and thumb into the floor. Stack your shoulders over your wrists. Stack your hips over your knees. Take an inhale, curl the toes under, look forward, open across that chest. Exhale, point those toes round out, lift that spine up. Beautiful. Inhale, curl the toes under. Open across that chest. Press your shoulder blades towards your hips. Exhale, round out. Point those toes. Lift that spine up. One more time. Inhale, curl the toes under. Lift your chin up. Press your shoulder blades towards your hips. Think about opening the front of that back. Exhale, round out. Point those toes. Let your head move. And come back to that neutral position. From here, curl your toes under. Down dog, tailbone way up high. Tuck your chin and look back between your legs. Gently pressing your heels towards the floor. Maybe you'd like to pedal your feet out so you bend one knee and then the other. Press both heels towards the floor. Pull your shoulders away from your ear. And then walking your hands in to meet your feet. Don't kill your feet wide on the mat. Your little toes on the very edge of the mat. Shift that weight into the ball of your foot. And let your head hang. So what you don't want to be doing is pressing back into your heels. Pull that weight forward. Breathe here. Maybe you'd like to grab your elbow with the opposite hand. Maybe you'd like to sway side to side for a ragdoll. Right Release your hands back 
down the floor, fully feel your feet together. Inhale, slide up halfway. So your fingertips barely touch your shins. Pull your heart forward. Exhale, slide back down a little deeper forward. Fold. Press your feet into the floor. Reverse one. Dive arms come out and around. Exhale, hands from the hips center. Stand nice and tall. Beautiful. Take an inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, lift that knee up. Exhale, extend. Inhale, bend. Exhale, extend. Press your shoulder blades down one more time. Inhale, bend. Exhale, extend. And bring that leg down. Forward fold. Long through your spine. Heart forward. Let your head hang. And then walk your hands forward to that high plank position. Your fingers are spread out wide. Squeeze your glutes. So you don't want your bottoms up higher. If you need to, come down on your knees. But again, your hips aren't up high. Drive those hips low. Exhale to down dog. Tailbone high. Long for your spine and breathe. Bending your knees to the floor for tabletop. And then slide that left foot back. Yes? Now, your left, right hand, right knee are in line, and you're going to rotate open to face the front. Press your left pinky toe on the floor. Left arm reaches up and over. Make sure your arm is not coming in front of your face. Keep that left arm trickle down. Reach back up. Hold here. Rotate open the left side of that body. Do that again. Circle down. Reach back. Up. And hold three. One last time. Circle down. Reach back up. Hold here. Open that left side. Three. Inhale here. Exhale. Square yourself to the front. So hands on the floor. Your left toes are put under. Simply slide that right foot through and up to that three legged down top. Slowly lower that right foot down, down dog, push your body back. And then walking your hands in to meet your feet. In that forward fold, let your upper body down. Press your feet into the floor, reverse palm dive, arms down and around. Exhale, hands up, it's going to stand tall, pull those down. One hand down. Exhale, hands come to the side. Inhale, lift that right knee up. Exhale, extend. Inhale, bend, pull your abs in. Exhale, extend, press your shoulder blades down. One more time, inhale. And exhale, bring that foot down nice and slow forward fold. Long through your spine. Let your head move. Walk your hands forward. Come back to that high plank. Squeeze your glutes. Remember, squeezing your glutes so your bottoms aren't up high. If you need to, come down on your knees. Again, your hips aren't high. Lower here, squeezing those glutes. Just breathe. Exhale to down dog. Tailbone way up high. Push your body back. Bending your knees to the floor and then slide that right foot back. Open to the side. So left hand, left knee are in line. Press your right pinky toe to the floor. Right arm reaches up and over. Rotate up on the right side of that right hand. Breathe here. Take that right arm, circle down. Reach back. Up and hold up for you. Do that again. Reach down. Circle back. Up. And hold. And one last time. Circle down. Reach back. Rotate with the right side of that wrist hinge. Inhale. Here. 
Exhale, square yourself to the front. You're gonna lift that. I throw the ball that way, and then lift that left leg up, three legged down dog. Both feet on the floor, down dog, pushing your body back. And then walking your hands into each your feet. Forward fold, long through your spine. Press your feet into the floor, reverse one leg, arms come out and around. Exhale, hands to the press center, send them to the Alright, so you can just off the mat. You have to slide this back a bit. Sorry. So we'll do a few sun salutations. Hands at heart center, open that chest. Take an inhale here. Exhale, big dive forward, flat back, heart forward, come all the way over, long through your spine, step your left foot back. Right knee over that right heel, inhale, come up into the lunge, press your shoulder blades down, turn the ball of that left foot. Inhale, lift your heart up. Exhale, both hands on the floor, take your right foot back to meet the left or in high plank. Squeeze your glutes. Drop down on your knees, your elbows point to the back, lower down, knees, chin, and chest. Yes? So your heart comes forward, lay all the way down. Point your toes from the tops of those feet. Baby cobra, rotate your shoulders open. Inhale, lift, use your back, not your hands. Exhale, come right back down, curl those toes under, press back up to that high plank. Exhale to down dog and breathe here. Inhale, lift your left leg up behind. Look between your hands, swing that left leg through. Hold foot on the floor, left knee over that left heel. Inhale, come up into that lunge. Tailbone heavy on the ball of that right foot. Press your shoulder blades down. Inhale, lift your Exhale, both hands on the floor. Bring your left foot up to meet the right forward foot. Press your feet into the floor, get your swan dive arms out of room. Exhale, hands to her center, stand tall, pull those abs in. Again, inhale, lift up. Exhale, big dive forward, flat back, hard forward, come all the way over. Step that right foot back. Left knee over that left heel, get a little lower. Inhale, come up into that lunge. Press your shoulder blades down. Inhale, lift your foot up. Exhale, both hands on the floor. Take your left foot back to meet the right. You're in that high plank position. Squeeze your glutes, lengthen the back of your neck. Drop down on your knees. Elbows point to the back. Lower down knees, chin, and chest. Abs and tight, hover here, lay all the way down. Point your toes from the tops of those feet. Rotate your shoulders open, baby cobra. Inhale, lift up. Use your back. Come back down. Curl those toes under. Press back up to that high plank. Exhale to down dog. Tailbone up high. Push your body back. Breathe. Inhale, lift your left leg up behind. Look between your hands, swing that left leg through. Full foot on the floor, left knee over that left heel. Inhale, come up to that one. Breathe. Exhale, both hands on the floor. Bring your right foot up to meet the left. Forward fold. Press your feet into the floor, reverse one leg. Arms out and around. Exhale, heels from the heart center, stand on the center. Beautiful. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, we can toss on the chair pose. So just sit down. You're going to push your hips back. So your knees are behind your toes, toes and knees are forward. Your feet could be apart, hip distance apart. Just make sure they don't roll in. If your arms are about five steps by your ears, or your hands could be at heart center, that's your choice. Pull your abs in, open that chest. Sink further back into your hips and heels. Inhale here. 
Exhale, twist to the right. So left elbow on the outside of that right knee. Press your palms together to help you twist, and then look at that wall. Inhale, open those arms to deepen that twist. Exhale, hands come together. Come to heart center. Lift your hips, step forward, fold. Hands on the floor. Step your feet back to that high plank position. Squeeze your glutes. So, you can lower down knees, chin, chest like we just did, or chaturanga. Chaturanga, your knees are off the floor. Elbows point to the back, lower halfway down. Inhale to up dog or baby cobra. Point your toes, push that floor away. Exhale to down dog, lift the hips up. Breathe here, push your body back, lengthen your spine. Bending your knees, your heels come up. Look between your hands, step your feet between your hands. Forward fold. Press your feet into the floor, reverse swan dive, arms out and around. Exhale, hands to heart center, stand tall. Beautiful. One more time, inhale, lift up. Exhale, look at us in a chair pose, sink into your heels. If your arms are up, biceps by your ears or hands at heart center. So make sure your knees are behind your toes and your abs are pulled in tight. Bring your hands to heart center, open that chest, inhale here. Exhale, twist towards the left. So right elbow on the outside of that left knee. Press your palms together to help you twist and breathe. Keep sinking back into your heels. Now maybe you can open those arms. Hands come together, come to heart center. Lift your hips up, forward fold. Hands on the floor, step, step, or hop your feet back to that high plank position. Long through that spine. Lower down knees, chin and chest, or chaturanga, elbows point to the back. Inhale, up dog, or baby cobra. Exhale, to down dog, lift the hips up. Breathe here, long through that spine, push that body back. Heels come closer to the floor here. Bending your knees, your heels come up, look between your hands, step, step, or hop your feet between your hands, forward, forward. Press your feet into the floor, reverse swan dive, arms out and around. Exhale, hands come up. All right, grab that strap real quick. And grab wide on it. What you don't want to do is bend your arms. So take your feet wide, take an inhale, bring your arms up, and then come back around. So you're opening the chest and shoulders. Inhale, come right back up and down. So if that was too hard, take your hands wider. If it was too easy, bring them a little closer. Inhale, come up. Exhale, back around, open the chest and shoulders. Inhale, come up. Exhale, back. Do that one more time. Inhale, come up. Exhale, back around. Open the chest, open those shoulders. Strap comes to your bottom. One last time. Inhale, come up. Exhale, come up. All right, so set that strap off to the side. You might need it in a little bit. Come to the top of that mat, and let's begin. Hands at heart center. Open that chest. Take an inhale here. Exhale, big side forward, flat back, come all the way over. Step your left foot back to find warrior two, and then windmill those arms up and around. So your feet are way wide on that. Your right toes in front, stack your right knee over your right heel. Press your left pinky toe on the floor, reach those arms long. Good, take an inhale here, straighten your left, front leg, your arms come up. 
Exhale, sink the back heel, press your shoulder blades down, reach those arms long. Beautiful. Inhale, gear straighten that leg. Exhale, sink the back right heel, hold those abs in, keep pressing that right knee open. And one more time, inhale here. Exhale, sink the back heel, press those shoulder blades down. Right forearm on the right thigh, reach up and over to the front. Now, rotate open the left side of that rib cage and face that wall. Reach long. And reverse square up and over to the back. Keep that right leg just breathe. And again, extended side angle. Forearm on that thigh, reach long. Press your shoulder blades towards your head. And reverse, up and over to the back of the room. Keep pressing that right heel. Come back to warrior two. Please know that left arm up and around. Both hands on the floor. Bring your left foot up to meet the right. Forward fold. Inhale, slide up halfway. Hold your heart forward. Fingertips barely touch your shins. Exhale, slide back down a little deeper forward fold. Giant step back with your right foot behind warrior two once again. So left toes are front, windmill those arms up and around. Feet are way wide. I'm going to turn my mat side here so you can see. So you're going to stack that left knee over that left heel. And then press that right pinky toe on the floor. Your toes arms long. So you're looking to the front. Take an inhale here, straighten that front leg. Exhale, sink the back heel. Press that left knee open. Good. Inhale here, straighten that leg. Exhale, sink the back heel. Press your shoulder blades down. One last time. Inhale. And exhale. Reverse for your right arm in the small of the back, left palm up, reach up and over to the back. So huge stretch on that left side. Try not to collapse that right side. And then come up, extended side angle. Left arm on the thigh. Right arm reaches up and over. Rotate over the right side of that left foot. Press your shoulder blades towards your hips. And reverse up and over to the back. Breathe. And up, extended side angle. Up and over to the back. Press your shoulder blades towards your hips. Try not to have your back hip higher than that front hip. So bend that front hip. One more time, reverse up and over to the back. And extend the side angle up and over to the front. Press your shoulder blades towards your hips. Come back up to where you're taking. Windmill that right arm up around. Both hands on the floor. Bring that right foot up to meet the left. Here in that forward fold. Let your head hang. Press your feet into the floor. Reverse one. Dive. Arms come out of nice. Exhale. Hands come to the heart center. Nice All right. So grab your block. Set that block off to the side. Okay? Okay. 
So we're gonna do that again. We're just gonna deepen that stretch. Hands at heart center, open that chest. Take an inhale here. Exhale, big dive forward, flat back, hard forward, come all the way over, let your head move. Step that left foot back to find warrior two. So the right foot in front, then move those arms up and around. Step that right heel to that right heel, press that left pinky toe to the floor, reach those arms down. Inhale here, straighten that front leg, arms come up. Exhale, sink that hip, press those shoulder blades down. Again, inhale, straighten that leg. Exhale, sink that hip, press those shoulder blades down. Keep pressing that right knee open, hold those abs in. Reverse for your left arm in the small back, right palm up. Reach up and over to the back. Press those shoulder blades in. And come up, extend inside angle. So this time, forearm on that leg, just like we did the first time. Reach. Get a little low. Press those shoulder blades towards your hands. Beautiful. Reverse up and over to the back. Keep that leg bent. And from up to the side angle, but this time, put your hand on that block. The block would be in front or behind that leg, and then reach that arm to get lower. Now, maybe this is too much for you. Stay with that arm on that block. Come back to where you two. Windmill that left arm up and around both knees in the foot. When your left or left knee to right, you're in that forward fold. Press your feet into the floor, reverse line, your arms on the ground. Exhale, hands to heart center. Do that again, inhale, lift up. Exhale, big step forward, clap back, hard forward, come all the way over. Step that right foot back to find warrior two. So your left toes are up front, when the little bind up in the neck. I'm just facing sideways, I think it's probably easier for you to see what I'm doing. Bend that right knee, or left knee, sorry, stack that left knee, left heel, press that right foot forward, reach those arms long. Inhale, straighten that further. Exhale, sink that heel, get low. One more time. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, sink that heel. Reverse, up and over to the back. Open the left side of that rib cage, press your shoulder blades down. Extended side angle, left arm to the thigh, lower the hips, right arm up and over. Rotate up on the right side of the body, press your shoulder blades towards your hips. One more time, reverse. Keep those abs in tight. And extended side angle. To the left hand is going to be on that block. Lower those hips, rotate up on the right side of that body. Come back up to the rear two. We feel that right arm up and around both hands on the floor. Bring the right foot up to the left. Forward, forward. Inhale, slide up that weight, hold your heart forward. Exhale, slide back in. Press your feet into the floor, reverse one, I rock that knee. Exhale, hands over center, stand tall. Yes? Okay. 
grab your strap. So again, same stretch. We're going to try to get a little deeper in that stretch. We're working on opening your shoulders here, okay? So you're going to have three options. The first one we did, right? Form on the thigh. Second option was using your block. Third option will be with that strap. So do what works best for you. Hands up, heart center. Open our chest. Exhale, big guy forward, clap, clap, clap forward, come all the way Giant step back with that left. Windle those arms up and around. Stack that right knee over that right heel, press that left pinky toe into the floor. Inhale, straighten your front leg. Exhale, bend, press those shoulder blades down. One more time. Inhale, straighten, pull those abs in. Exhale, sink in that heel, press those shoulder blades down. Reverse warrior, reach up and up to the back. So that left arm's in the small of the back, palm faces away. Breathe into the right side of that arm. And come up, extend the side angle. First time that forms on the thigh. Left arm reaches up, try to get low. Press your shoulder blades towards your hips. And reverse, up and over to the back. And come up. All right, so grab your strap. <laughs> Strap is in your left hand, your left hand's behind you. So we're working on a bind. That front hand, right hand, comes under that right leg to grab that strap, yes? And then maybe you can just work those hands closer together. Rotate that left shoulder. Exhale, bend, Releasing that strap, come back up to warrior two. Windmill that left arm up and around, both hands on the floor, bring your left foot up to meet the right, forward fold. Inhale, slide up halfway, pull your heart forward. Exhale, slide right back in. Now, you're going to step that right foot back. Windmill those arms up and around. So, feet are very wide. Stack that left knee over that left toe. Abs in tight. Press that knee open. Inhale, straighten that coming. Exhale, sink in the back. Good. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, sink in that heel. Press those shoulder blades down. Reverse warrior, right arm in the small of the back, palm faces away, left arm reaches up and over. And up, extend the side angle, whoa. Left arm on the thigh, right arm reaches up and over, rotate up on the right side of that whole cage. Press your shoulder blades towards your hips. And reverse up and over to the back. And come up, grab that strap. So strap will be in your right hand. <coughs> Excuse me, come behind your body. Left arm comes under that left leg to grab the strap and then rotate that left right shoulder open. Release that strap. Come back up to the rear two. Windmill that right arm up and around. Both hands on the floor. Bring your right foot up to meet the left. Forward fold. Let your upper body hang. 
Inhale, slide up halfway, lengthen your spine. Exhale, slide the right back to your arms. Exhale, Alright. So working on Malasana here, which is a, a squat, basically. Your feet are way wide, heels on the very edge of your mat, and you squat. So what you don't want is for your heels to pop up. You can roll your mat up. Yes, and place your heels on that mat. And then your hands right front and center, press those thighs over. Maybe somebody is saying, not a chance. So hopefully your block is high enough that you could sit down on that block. Yes, or squat here. That's just up to you. Open that chest. Pressing those knees open. Slow that breath. Good. Hands to the floor. Lift your hips up. Turn your toes forward. Forward fold. Wave in the ball of your foot. Let your head hang. Press your feet in the floor. Reverse one leg up to the <clears throat> Exhale. Hands to the seat. All right. So balance pose, tree, stand on that right leg, left foot up. So that toe could be on the floor, you just don't want that foot out wide here because there's no way you can balance here. Lift up on the right side of your body, hands to heart center, press your pumps together, shoulders open. So lift that toe up, maybe that foot could be on your calf, maybe you can grab that foot, place it up on your thigh. Open my chest. Take those on set. Press your shoulder blades down. Hands come back to the Bring that into the front. Pull those abs in. Just work on that back. Okay, and put it down. Take one in down here. Exhale. Hands come to the front side. Stand on that left foot. So spread that foot out. Right toe on the floor. Knees open. Lift up on the left side of the body. You can lift that toe up. Place that foot on your calf. Or place it up on that calf. Open that chest. Stand tall. Pull those abs in. Take those arms up. Press your shoulder blades down. Just breathe. the heart center, soft pose, bring that knee around the front, hold those abs down. And put down here. All right, we're going to put all of that together. So, bird of paradise, right? So, bird of paradise is you're going to combine that bind we did, where we grab under that front leg. You could use your strap or grab your hands. We're going to add a balance, right? So you're on one leg and you're going to extend that leg up. Now, if you're saying, I'm not doing that, you are so going to do that because there are a couple different options, right? So we'll start in that malasana, that squat we just did. You could use your strap. You could even use your hands and do ones at Captain Morgan, right? Where you're just balancing here, standing on one leg. So maybe you can't get that bind. Maybe you can't extend, but you can work on that balance. Okay, so say it with me. I can do this, right? You have to go in with that positive attitude. So you've got your strap if you need it. Start with your feet wide. Hands at heart center, open that chest. No one's watching you, so just do what you can. Take your right arm, reach under that leg. Yes, and then that left arm comes around. So maybe you've got that strap in your left hand to grab, or maybe your hands can come together. Lift your hips up, turn your toes forward. Shift your weight to your left foot, you're gonna drive into that foot, bring your body up, maybe. Stand tall, and then maybe you can extend that right leg up. Yes. 
maybe, maybe you're here and that works too. And then come back down to that squat. On pretzel your arms, lift your hips up. Turn your toes forward, gently shift your hips side to side. Great news, other side. Turn your toes out, Malasana. Hands at heart center. Press those knees open with your elbows. Yeah, so if you need to, your straps in your right hand behind you. Left hand comes under that left leg. Either grab that strap or grab your hands, okay? Now, lift your hips up, turn your toes forward. Shift your weight to your right foot, press into that heel, bring your body up. Stand up tall. And then maybe you can extend that left foot. And then, and then come right back down. Release your bind, hands on the floor. Straighten your legs, toes forward, gently shift your weight side to side, stretch out. Now, toe heel your feet together. Shift that weight into the ball of your foot, forward, forward. Inhale, slide up halfway, pull your heart forward, lengthen the back of your neck. Exhale, slide right back down. Press your feet into the floor, reverse one by arms out of range. Exhale, Ukatasana, chair pose, sit down. Push your hips back, pull your abs and breathe. So make sure your knees are behind your toes. Sink a little lower. You know where we're going. Try not to use your hands. Sink into your heels, bottoms down, legs up. Pull your abs in. Oh, sorry. Fingers reach forward. Keep breathing. If you need to, you can hold those legs, yes? Now, low, low, try not to let your feet touch the floor. Right then, that's fine. Right, all the way down. All right, let me turn my mask sideways so that you can see. So, take your hands back behind your head. Elbows wide. <clears throat> let your knees fall over. Slide away right back. You're looking up at that ceiling. Just crunch your lift and down. Up and down. So, your abs are in tight. Squeeze here. Make sure you're not pulling on your head and neck. Lift. Up. Keep going. Four more. Three more. Two. And one beautiful head on the floor. Extend those legs up to the ceiling. So your heels are stacked over your hips. You don't want your feet over your body. Pull your abs in. Lift your hips up. So you lift up and down. Up and down. Slow and control. Keep going here. Up, down. Up, down. Breathe. Good. Keep going. Try not to swing those legs. Lift and down. Up, down, up. Beautiful. Go four, three, two, one. Bend your knees in front here. Lift and down. Up and down. Lift. And down, keep pulling those abs in nice and tight. So four more here. Three more. Two. Hold your head up and bicycle. So we twist and twist. If you need to, take your legs higher, but keep working. Twist, twist, and breathe. Good. Keep going. Out, out, out. Abs in tight. Come on. 
Beautiful, you've got eight, switch, seven, switch, six, five more, four, three, two, one. Cross your feet, head on the floor, abs and tight. Bring your knees in, lift your hips up and down. Hips up and down. Scoop that belly in. Keep working. Beautiful. Keep going. Eight more. Good. Lift. Abs are in tight. Six. Last four. Three. Two. And one. All right, place your feet flat on the floor. Take your little toe on the very edge of the mat. So if you don't have a mat, your feet are wider than your hips. Your arms are out to the side in the two. Take an inhale through your nose. Exhale, take your knees to the right, turn, look to the left. So your left knee drops behind your right foot. Push that hip across. Inhale through center, exhale, switch sides, knees to the left, turn look to the right. And then come back to center, prepared for bridge. So your heels are as close to your bottom as you can comfortably get them. Arms down by your side, palms face the mat. Now, your feet are not touching side by side. Your feet are in line with your sits bones. Press your feet to the floor and slowly peel your spine up. So you're lifting your hips up high. You can come up on that pinky edge of your hand. Keep your head on the floor. Lift your hips and chest. And then slowly come down one vertical at a time. And relax here. One inhale through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. Grabbing your strap and place your right foot inside the strap. Your left foot's flat on the floor with that leg bent. Right leg straight but not locked out. Take an inhale through your nose. Exhale, pull that leg closer. Head and shoulder blades on that floor, breathe. Now, extend your left leg down below. Your left leg is straight, flex your foot, and think of pushing that heel forward. Slide your right hand up on that strap, closer to that foot. Maybe you can grab that foot. Take that right leg out to the side. So your shoulders and hips are facing the ceiling. Left hand holds your left hip down so that bottom and hip don't pop up, and then turn them up to the left. Slowly bring that leg up, switch hands on the strap, take that leg across your body, right arm out to the side, palm is up, open that shoulder, Maybe you can look up at that ceiling. Maybe you can turn and look to your left. Slowly come back to center. Bring that leg a little bit closer. Bend that right leg, lift your left foot up. So both feet are inside the strap, then take that right foot up. Right foot flat on the floor, kneecap to the ceiling, left leg straight. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, pull that leg closer. 
and then extend that right leg down below, flex that foot. Slide your left hand up on that strap or grab that foot, take that leg out to the side. Flex your foot, push that heel out. Right hand holds your right hip down, press your right shoulder blade, right hamstring into the mat. Turn look to the right. Slowly bring that leg up, switch hands to get all the way across your body. Left arm out to the side. Open that shoulder, look up at that ceiling or turn, look to the left. Slowly come back to center, bring that leg back to your hands one more time. Bending that leg, take that foot out of the strap. So moving to final Shavasana, your feet are a little bit wider than your hips or even wider than that. Let your feet pop a little. Arms are down by your side, your palms are up, and you just open across your chest and breathe. Allowing your body to just relax. Allowing your eyes to sink into your eye sockets. Allowing your body to just breathe, to just be. Give your fingers and toes a little bit. Inhale, extend your arms long over top, legs up low. And then let your air out. Bending your knees, your feet are flat on the floor. Roll onto your right side using that arm as a pillow. And we'll take a few breaths here. And then gently helping yourself come all the way up to the front and see the awesome. Rotate those shoulders back and around. Lift and lengthen the back of your neck and bring your hands to the center, sealing into those practice. Whatever you do, you need courage. Whatever course you decide upon, there is always someone to tell you that you are wrong. There are always difficulties arising that tempt you to believe your critics are right. To map out a course of action and follow it to an end requires some of the same courage that a soldier needs. Peace has its victories, but it takes brave men and women to win them. Sit up nice and tall. Take an inhale through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. One last time, inhale. 
and exhale. And down from Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you actually got it.